Welcome to the video. This one is a different type of video because there's not really much editing here. There's not really much, you know, to go on in the background. It's just me really voicing my opinion. And today we're discussing about not 5-Minute Crafts. I'm discussing about the YouTubers who talk about 5-Minute Crafts and react to all of their videos. Think about it. Think about it. What's been the punching bag to YouTubers for the last few years now, huh? 5-Minute Crafts. Now, I know 5-Minute Crafts gets, you know, a lot discredited for pretty much stealing their own content, possibly stealing others' content, being repetitive with their stuff, and, yeah, and it's videos that don't make sense, videos that are pretty much a waste of time, stupid, and they're just taking money. Tell me, tell me, to my fellow YouTubers, isn't that just starting to really bleed into us? or at least specifically the ones who make videos about them, reacting to them, throwing shade at them, and no, I'm not defending 5-Minute Crafts here. Heavens no, I will never defend 5-Minute Crafts. I just think there's a mega issue here that every YouTuber thinks the scapegoat is 5-Minute Crafts. And sorry, that's gonna make us just as bad as 5-Minute Crafts, because now all of us are repeating the same type of content, being repetitive with it, what else can we add besides, oh yeah, 5-Minute Crafts videos, they suck, their hacks suck. Congratulations, that's already been discovered. So why does every YouTuber think they need to do a video on them now? It's no longer funny. It started becoming an issue for me uh, at least a couple months ago. When I was seeing Sister like with her YouTubers. And I'm seeing that each and every single one of them has something to do on 5 Minute Crafts. And it, it's just... Why? Why? We get it now. 5 Minute Crafts is not a good YouTuber. If anything, I wish they'd be taken off YouTube because seriously, they add nothing, they benefit nothing, and they're stealing from people who properly deserve to be on top instead of repeating the same old content and having hacks that don't help anybody besides, you know, affect them actually. Like, the best thing we could do is just ignore them. You're giving them attention. You're actually giving them clout by talking about them because that brings other things over there. That's what YouTube wants. They want the attention to go to there. Now that you give... 5-Minute Crafts, that attention, YouTube gets it in their head that they're going to keep promoting them. They're going to keep bringing them up. And I, you don't want that. We want YouTubers who are actually underrated and work hard to rise. The best way we do it is we ignore YouTubers like these and stop talking about them. Stop talking about a 2018 to 2019 to 2017 thing. Stop it. It's 2022. We seriously got to stop. I don't know when the most recent video was, but considering how popular 5 Minutes Crafts is and how much it pisses people off, I can just guess that there had to have been one at least in the last few days. I don't know. It's getting... it needs to stop. It really, really does. If we want to help each other out, if we want to get noticed by YouTube, we gotta stop giving notice to those YouTubers that YouTube wants to be noticed, because they don't give a damn about us. They don't. So if we do stuff like this, you know, it's like, oh, you, for once, they're going to notice us because, well, hey, we're helping one of their YouTubers out that gives them the money. That's the only reason why 5-Minute Crafts is succeeding because they give YouTube money. Does YouTube give a damn about they actually make good content? No. You don't ever see them on those content creator things of best content creators of the year. No coincidence there because they suck. Even probably YouTube knows it too. But, hey, money talks, content creating walks. It, this needs to be said. Honestly, truthfully, there's even no Etsy here. This truthfully needs to be said. Stop. We have to make a change, okay? It's 2022. YouTube, we're living by just too much repetitive stuff. We really are. This is one of the things that need to stop. Maybe I'll have more videos regarding how I actually feel with no edits. We have to move on, because YouTube's going to be 17 years old. YouTube hasn't really been the same since 2015, really. 2016? Ever since Logan Paul dropped his video, The Suicide Forest. It hasn't been the same in like five to six years. We got to make a change. Or sex says six to seven years. I'm kind of dumb, but six to seven years. We, 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 as a community, have got to push through this together. Let's stop, you know, going after the big guns. Trying to get those free views. Because it's not helping us in the long run. It's not. We gotta stop being repetitive. We gotta stop repeating the same old stuff. It's not funny anymore. It's not. As I said, I'm not defending 5 Minute Crafts. I just think we gotta try original content. Because this is something YouTube desperately needs now. So instead of us all collectively having that one video where it adds nothing, 
of value to whatever anybody else said, whoever started this five minute crash trend, how about we stop paying attention to them and start paying attention maybe probably other YouTubers who need it. And I don't mean YouTubers that need hate, maybe YouTubers that need love. YouTubers that need a lot of appreciation. Which soon my YouTube appreciation will come. And I finally got my topics. <laughs> no thanks to everybody giving me suggestions, but anyways, regarding that, you know, let's touch YouTubers who need that attention. All right, let's let's look at YouTube in a better view and mindset. We get it; they suck. We don't need to be reminded of it anymore. And that's all I gotta say. Let's change YouTube for the better. Peace out.